Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't know what I was doing there. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Infraspace. Uh, I have been absolutely loving this game. Uh, so let's get straight back in to where we were. So here is our lovely... Oh, wow, it's pretty big, actually. I forgot how big it was. But first, I'm delighted to say that this video is sponsored. So imagine you're one of these hover truck drivers that's just left work after a long day delivering steel and stuff. Now you've got a long drive home. Yes, a really long drive home. And then once it gets in, all they want to do is watch Netflix. However, if they want to watch Top Gear... Look, it's not available. What are they going to do? Well, using Atlas VPN, they can come down here and they can select where they want to be in the world. So now when they search for Top Gear, it appears because Netflix thinks they're located in a different district. Right now, Atlas VPN are running a huge discount. It means you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.39 a month. And it includes a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can get access to this deal by clicking the link in my description below. Now, Alice VPN isn't just for changing your Netflix location and getting access to different content. It blocks malicious links, ads and trackers, and notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data. It works at lightning fast speed, so you can still stream your favourite shows and game online at blazing speeds. It can help you get the best deals while shopping online. Atlas VPN also protects all your devices with a single subscription. And not only that, if you use the deal by clicking the link in my description, this is the best VPN deal on the market. $1.39 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So thank you Atlas VPN for sponsoring. Really appreciate your support of the channel. Let's hope we can use that to build these guys a faster road network. Here is our lovely new colony on some strange Martian planet. I assume it's Martian. Uh, last time we expanded quite a bit our habitat area. We started adding some new mines and stuff. Oh man, look at the traffic along. Hang on, there's a rock. There's a rock in the middle of the road. <laughs> Thank goodness they're hover trucks, so they just hover straight over it. Definitely not through. Ignore that. But yeah, so as you can see over here, it wasn't actually enough electronics. We we really need some more. So what I was thinking of doing is trying to fix that somehow. Like I don't know whether it's worth just getting rid of these red things. It's a home appliance factory, which takes two electronics and a bit of iron ore to make a home appliance. Now, we don't really need them because there's nothing to research for red yet. It's all about the green. But more pressing matters, we don't have enough workers. So basically, we need to build some more habitats. And this is our sort of habitat area. Uh, they're all decent habitats. They're no better than that because we don't have home appliances yet. So as there are some coming in, they might upgrade. But I think for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna try and build some more so we want them to go as close as possible so i'm guessing like that oh no they're... oh god right, anyway what if we while we're here or if we put the road in will that move oh that's clever that is clever look it automatically moved the driveway sweet okay so we're gonna build a load more of these we'll do this end as well you can see them all upgrading behind me as they're getting all the supplies they need to upgrade you can see down here this is our housing number so as they upgrade that number will actually increase we're trying to get to the number of jobs so 551 i think it goes up by two so it goes from an eight person to a ten person all right ready boosh habitat upgraded yeah now it holds 10 people cool man look all the different colored cars so the light blue ones they're carrying oxygen the green trucks are carrying food and the pink are carrying people you can never have too many people that's what i always say <laughs> that's not a thing i ever say very good that is decent you see new people getting airlifted in so some pink jeeps will start to leave there sorry g-wagons but housing and jobs finally match each other we just need some more population so that will just happen over time i think the next thing we need to work on is fixing this research so we've got the blue research that's easy all that takes is iron ore and carbon to make some blue science we're trying to create green science and with that we need to turn electronics sulfur and blue science into a green science and we are massively lacking the electronics so we're gonna go and sort this out so it might just be worth literally destroying some of these see you later see you later see you later so now we've only got one so hopefully the electronics will fly past this time where are you guys going Yes, they're driving past. Right, we may have fixed it. So they should be going straight to there and doing that. Cool. Right, 
let's go back to our research tab. Now, last time I was trying to figure out how to unlock a small town. Uh, well, thankfully, literally a second ago, I accidentally clicked on this button, which I, I sort of thought was a boob at first, but I realized it's a city dome. You know, a city dome. Uh, but as you can see, that's the city level. So if we click on that, it sort of gives us all the different levels we got. So it says here, your city will be promoted to small town once you have at least 300 level three citizens. I think that means we need to upgrade these from a decent habitat to the next one. Now, I'm not sure how we go about that. I know we need home appliances, but uh, we've, we've just got rid of all of them to fuel this. So perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps we have to put them all back in. I don't know. Oh, and that's not great, actually. Our home appliances factory. There's no workers in the building. How can we attract some more immigration? So you can see when we click on these, our immigration rate is low. Upgrade your habitats to make your city attractive to newcomers. Okay, so we got a bit of a problem. We're going to have to pause some of these, I think. I don't know. Is there a way to pause them? Oh, i tell you what you can do. You can go to production overview and we can reduce the priority on certain things. So let's say green science. We don't really care. I'm going to keep my like survival stuff. So oxygen and food, that's going to remain high. But everything else could come down a bit. And basically, I just need to get, yeah, I just need to get that full. So that's full now. So we're making home appliances. Right, okay, let's build a few more home appliance things because we really need to, I really want to get to the next level because that's when we unlock the cool roads. The trucks are really queuing up to fill them with electronics. So perhaps we should build some more. All right, that's good. Now you can see this electronics one. The number's gone red. That's basically because we're using up more than we're producing. So if we slide this back up, we can get more people working on electronics until it goes white. Sorted. Right. I think we're in a much better state now. They should fill up with people and then we should start upgrading our habitats into the crystal maze. Sweet. You can see here the red trucks. They're full of home appliances, washing machines and fridges and all sorts. So you can see one down here. Hopefully it will take a right turn. Oh no, he's going left. He's going left into one of these. So that one you can see it's got home appliances, but it needs to be filled up. They're being used up all the time. Washing machines don't last forever. Not even with Calgon, but they should start upgrading now. Uh, meanwhile, I was going to have a little sneaky peek and sort of see what's ahead of us in the research. So the important ones down the bottom, the four lane roads and the highways. Can't wait to get them. Uh, we're also going to have large mines, which will be cool. That will allow us to speed up our resource production. Our oh, substations, so we don't need power poles. That would be very useful. Uh, and aluminium mining. So let's notice how I pronounce that, Americans. Alumin. Actually, that's not the spelling. That's not the spelling. Two Americans actually spell it wrong. Hang on, I, I'm Googling this. Oh, it's actually a different spelling. I didn't know that. I always thought Americans were crazy and just missed out the I on purpose to annoy us. <laughs> Oh, what? I, I'm learning so much. Uh, but yeah, so we've got loads of different resources. We've got ooh, uranium up here. We've got iridium. Oh, there you go. There's some aluminium. It's really it's quite shiny and white. Uh, but also, you guys told me in the comments, I was like wondering why the hell would anyone get rid of your wind turbines and replace them with solar power plants? Uh, if you remember, when we when we go to build one of these, can you see they've got the, uh, the area? And so if you put them within another wind turbine's area, can you see that efficiency number? goes down and up. So if they're on their own, 100% efficient. If they're overlapping another one, less efficient. However, with the solar power plant, you can literally just bung them wherever. So you can proper like use up some space. And, and we're, we're really, really lacking, lacking for space, space on this, this map. map. <laughs> uh, the downside is, as you can see there, the solar power plants, they cost 200 concrete and 100 steel. Whereas a wind turbine made out of solid concrete. Yep, solid concrete. Just 50 as well. <laughs> So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, anyway, look, look, the crystal bees. So these are the nice habitats. They're one level up from a decent habitat, which should mean if we click on our boob. Yes, look, we've got level three citizens. We've just got to get up to 300 or 76 already. Uh, while we're waiting though, we're, we're not just going to watch all of these get upgraded. We're actually going to do something productive. The question is where? Oh no. <laughs> you bastard game, you tricked me. <laughs> 
I thought that was going to be a straight line. All right, there we go, our very own Hollywood signs. Reminding people of the 11th commandment of my colony. And look, even more good news. We've just leveled up to level three. We are now a settlement. Uh, however, bit of an emergency. We are out of power. So I'm going to add a few more wind turbines. I think that's because these crystal mazes, because you've got to get like the fans blowing all the notes into the air and stuff. Now, I think they use up a bit more electricity, maybe. Meanwhile, let's go have a look at our research. Oh, we're not a settlement. We were a settlement. Now we're a small town. That sounds much more impressive. Yeah, so loads of things to research. Obviously, first things first, we're doing the roads. So four lane roads are going to take blue science and green science. So if we have a look down here. Oh, wow, that's a lot of traffic. That is a lot of traffic. I'll tell you what, I might move my science lab. Oh, look how horrible that corner is. As an engineer, I hate that. Very multicolored though, this road. But now all the research has left. You can see all the carbon is being restocked. So nice. And speak of nice, what do we need to upgrade our nice habitats? We need computers and parks. Interesting. So if we research, we've got computers that we can upgrade soon. Where are parks? So I love that stadiums come before schools <laughs> crew education we want to watch our football ah it's in large buildings we can unlock that pretty soon then okay so we just need those two to unlock the next citizens to get the large town that makes sense so jobs hasn't gone up we've now got some orangey stuff i think that's because we're not producing enough of them so since we have loads of people i think we need to just upgrade this and we can't really do anything here and we're sort of at the limit i don't think we can fit any more mines in uh, so in order to make more electronics we're gonna have to find another load of copper and another load of iron somewhere else ideally with the sign in range All right so just behind this actually i've i found there's a few copper ore pockets there's a few iron ore pockets it might be worth trying to thread a road to connect onto this one so let's go from the edge of this iron ore we're going to use our super fast one i think we're just going to do one way through here and then we're going to be running parallel but that's because we want to connect into there oh and look we've unlocked four lane roads so that will probably come in useful very very soon actually so let's say hooray to that and then unlock the highways that's what i'm really excited about get some more speed so yeah now we've unlocked these and this is the one that i wanted because down here we've got two lanes merging into one basically but i put that one in it's a two-way road because i was going to replace it with this one and now it's unlocked we should just be able to click on that say replace road and then do that so now we've got everyone just going down there and we just need to continue fixing that so it's all one direction but two lanes now all right that's looking a lot better look at all that traffic Epic. It is good. Uh, meanwhile, I think I'm going to replace these with just a one way. These don't need to be two ways. Oh no, they're all facing the wrong direction. Bollocks. <laughs> Reverse road, that direction. There we go. So we get into there and then disappearing, apparently. Goodness, look at all the trucks. <laughs> There's so many trucks. It's like a land train. I love that they hover as well. So clever, that technology. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to do the same for this side. Yep, so now everyone's going that way. Look at all look at all those trucks. Beautiful. So that's just a bit neater. And then over here where we've done this, we're going to fill this up with new mines. So we're basically just going to put these at the smallest spacing we can. Lovely. And then we just need some power. And because I'm stingy, I'm just going to do a windmill, which is surrounded by cliff faces so i'm sure it's doing a lot down there <laughs> and assume i've done the roads the right direction which it looks like i have we have a load of iron going down there and then it's just a case of getting some more copper and the copper is over here but as you can see we've got more jobs than our population again all right sorted loads more housing so we can carry on making some more jobs and to be honest actually i might not even do that i might do another strip and then connect them in down there so they go straight to the science. I might even do like a separate road network completely. Depends what the highways look like. I'm intrigued, but we could highway straight there, potentially. All right, so for the copper, we're doing the fast roads again. We're going to do one way. It's going to be along this edge. And then between those rocks. And where do we want to go? I'm sort of thinking from here, maybe this is where we merge together and then go over in one bridge rather than two. Then I also really want to have fun with this. This. So that's one junction done. It's not even a junction, it's just a road. <laughs> right, and then this one will come down to here, and then this will be a doubler. 
So a place road like that, lovely. And then along this road, a load of new electronics factories. Once I straighten it up a bit, it's a bit on the wonk at the moment. Oh, and would you look at that? We've unlocked highways, hooray. So I think highways is this three tab. Yes, they're black roads, but they cost steel. Although we do have a thousand steel now, so we could upgrade some of these. Although I do want to sort of just see how much faster they are. Yeah, but anyway, anyway, before we get into that, we got to select something else to research. I think we'll do power substations because then we can stop using power poles because that they are quite annoying. They're quite ugly as well. Uh, not, that, not that I care about looks. That would be an architect thing to do. Uh, but yeah, down here we want electronics factories. All right, so let's just start with eight. We'll add a power pole to cover those. Uh, we're producing 60 megawatts. We only need 32, so that is lovely. Apparently, these guys aren't getting iron. Where's the... <laughs> There's the iron. Look at that. What a sight that is. There's so many trucks I'm with the sign in the background, too. I love it. I love it. Uh, I mean, we haven't actually done the copper yet. Oops. All right, so let's get the copper mines in. Right, sorted. So now we should be making copper, and hopefully that will travel along this road. Yes, they're traveling along this road. And look, these iron ones, they've finally made it. Oh man, that's such a good sight. <laughs> that could be the thumbnail. That could be the thumbnail. So these guys are now just waiting for the copper to arrive. And basically because I built these a bit too late, they're going to take a while. They're going to have to go all the way around. But that's good. That means we've now got a load more electronics. So from there, we're doing highway two lane one way. I sort of want it to run parallel with this one just so we can compare the speed. We can connect that in and look at these roads. They've got like proper full-on safety barriers. Oh man, this is beautiful. <laughs> Look at all the traffic on there. All on the different levels. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at it. Look at all the different levels. <laughs> it's all snaking all over the place. But uh, this is the guy in first place. He's coming around the final few bends. All right, and there they go straight down into the electronics factories. And then we're going to see how fast the highway is. All right, ready? Our first one's leaving. Oh, it is off. It is off. All right, if we get ready over here, we should be able to do some comparisons to see how fast it is. Look, those two are pretty on... Oh, holy crap, it's so quick. It's so much quicker, the highways. Look at my sign. Look how good it is. <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah, highways highways are the thing to do. Look at that green guy move. So he canes it around there and he's overtaken everyone. But then we have a crossroad. Really, really not ideal. So what if we delete those two? And then with this road, we go over and back down. So we've got a little bridge for them. And then home appliances. They could go all the way around that way. But it's probably worth doing a little sort of junction over so we can say go over here and connect in down there now we just need to have a little bit of a wiggle right and there we go and then the reds should come off there and go round and they'll head down that way but nice that is looking good and efficient and it looks like a knob i didn't even mean to do that nice that is a very strong junction design oh have i just worked out something i feel like they're not filling up because they're not part of a district. Do I just need to extend them? Is that all I did wrong? Please don't tell me I've just spent this whole episode doing that for no reason. If there's a load of green trucks leaving. Oh my god, look how many green trucks there are. <laughs> that was the reason we weren't sending enough electronics there. Because they weren't in the district. <laughs> oh, you couldn't write You couldn't write that. You could not write that. Although, what are you waiting for, mate? They're literally all just going around that one guy. <laughs> You are an architect of a truck driver. You knobhead. What if we click? Oh, look, that's why. There's some traffic management going. Oh, it's because it's... I've just realized that's two-way. Yeah, we could use that one. The big boy road. Can we replace? Oh, we can replace. Okay, so we got big boy roads in there. So we can sort the traffic management here out. You go into that lane. You guys go into that lane. That's a dead end. Yeah, so both of those just go into one lane. So we got four into two, which isn't great. We could do with unlocking some more, but that should be fine because then all these guys can come up. Let's just check all these junctions are fine. I'm going to make this one go straight ahead as well. So we got a choice. Uh, down here, we're not going to let them do a left-hand turn. It's right only. Tell you what, there's a lot of traffic down here. I might do... Where does the carbon come from? It comes from these... So I might 
delete that road and then from here do a parallel one just to show off the speed we'll go over this back down and into there i tell you what i might even just make that a single road so now you should see this truck should go down that road yes cool and it's quicker nice and meanwhile we've unlocked the power substation so we can get rid of our power poles finally hooray we'll just select large buildings to be unlocked for next time and for now guys we're gonna leave that there we achieved quite a lot today without really achieving anything but uh i i'm proud i am proud uh, if you're still enjoying this series please boost your like button otherwise i'll say peace love and highway plums i'll catch you guys next time bye